What is happening guys? Welcome back to Pokemon Sword. So last episode we arrived in an all-new city and it is already time to take on the gym here. And considering there's a big old fist on the sign above the gym, we're gonna assume uh, that it's gonna be a fighting gym. So that's actually not too bad for us. We are gonna go ahead and definitely take advantage of Tootsie and also Barney should be pretty decent here. We resist fighting and I kind of just want to use this thing to be honest. It's only level 30. Let's go ahead and actually put you in front for now. Um, I think that we're pretty good enough leveled for that. I really don't know what to expect, but let's check out over here first. What's up? I want to show the Stoan side ruins to my Diglett. Who knows? Maybe it'll awaken some latent artistic talent. Interesting. Also, they got a big old Great Wall of China-ass staircase over here. What is happening? What's up, guy? The places where you can Dynamax your Pokemon are known as Power Spots. The gym stadiums of the gallery region are built on these Power Spots. That's pretty cool. What are you looking at? I really wish I could change the camera to see what's going on. The ocean, huh? Not a mountain, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, what the hell we got going on over here? Some painting. Still on side famous mural. Said to be a very deep work of art. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it, it very deep. I mean, there's a sword and a shield there. But other than that, it looks like a two-year-old painted it. So, I mean, I could probably do a better job if someone let me. I bet there's there's got to be something significant that happens up there. They wouldn't just they wouldn't just put this whole stair thing up there. That, that's weird. Well then, uh, I guess we're probably just gonna head on in unless there's anything for us over on the right, which looks like we got ourselves a new route. I don't think we'll be able to do much over here. Some Pokemon live in the mountains. Some Pokemon live in the forests. So many different species. Well, we could head into there, but we have to obviously take on the gym first. So now we know where we're headed next. Anyway. Let's go get ourselves a new gym badge. I'm always excited to do new gyms in this game. It's always a fantastic time. We also have our Pokeball friend here who does give us a Pokeball. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special Pokeball. It's going to be a heavy ball. Uh, which works better on catching Pokemon that are heavier. So, just about in the name. I always forget that heavy balls even exist, to be honest. What is happening? You're a gym challenger, right? You going to apply to this gym? Apply to challenge this gym? I sure am. So we're going to go ahead and change into the old Classic 69, and uh, I'm interested to see what the what the, uh, the puzzle or whatever is in this place. It's been a pretty interesting one so far. So, Also, one important thing to note is that if you're playing Pokemon Shield version, I believe this gym is different. I think it's the Ice Gym in Shield. Ooh, this place be looking big. What the fuck? Okay, there's Pinball. Count me in. Hold up. Please tell me we get to ride in it. Oh my god, yes. Yo, this actually looks pretty cool. What's, what are we doing here, though, buddy? Allow me to explain the gym mission for Stowan Sai's gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate, operate this fun attraction. Rotate the control stick to, to the right, and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate to the left, spin to the left. You hit a wall, rotate the stick as quickly as you can, get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Luckily, I'm not motion sick because your boy would yak. But we're gonna hop right in and let's see. Let's see how this goes. What am I? Okay, so if you just spin the stick, guys, you into the direction, and when you hit the walls, we bounce. Oh, oh Jesus! This is like Plinko. We're just gonna not move, and then now we can go this way. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! Okay, it's gonna take a little get it's gonna take a little getting used to. This would actually be like a fun a fun ride. Well, finish. Interesting. Alright, we got ourselves a trainer here. What is happening? You look pretty dizzy. Are you sure you can battle in that condition? Honestly, probably not the best idea. Your boy is a little bit dizzy. And this guy looks evil as hell, my god. He has got a stuffle. So, um Barney probably just gonna Two hit KO with Spark, depending. Yeah, it's level 31, so we'll just continue to basically mash Spark with this thing. We are adamant, so our physical attack is pretty solid. This thing's gonna leer, which uh, being stared down by a teddy bear you would not think would be very scary, but it lowers our defense regardless. Honestly, I really like Toxicity's design. The, the, the colors are super cool. He's got his crazy mohawk thing. Just a sweet Pokemon. Dumbo is gonna grow a level along with Barney. Look at that. Dumbo wants to learn Dig. Okay, so... 80 power is Dig. The thing about... 
that is dig takes two turns and since we have the sheer force ability both those actually does more we don't get the speed drops but we're gonna not teach dig because we have the tm for that anyway so it's really not too big of a deal but anyway next is a beware you know we took a leer beware is scary so we're gonna go into tootsie because we could probably use a little bit more experience before the gym i don't know what levels to expect but i'd rather have my flying type a little bit higher i don't know what level this thing even evolves i want this damn thing to evolve already all right level 32 beware so we're actually right on par with the uh with the gym workers so this might be a little bit interesting this thing is going to brutal swing freaking ouch and but one more peck's gonna do it so i think i'm stocked up enough on super potions it should be good to go in terms of that but down goes the beware nice little critical hit always when you don't need it but it's fine we do level up to 33 please evolve soon i'm dizzy and i'm completely dazzled what an incredible battle thanks buddy sweet goatee all right so hopping right back in <laughs> the old plinko pinball machine and we're gonna go this way and then and then we're gonna go this way and then oh, oh god what happens if i hit uh, i went too far down oh jesus oh oh god please stop that jesus this is annoying to control okay so that just pushes us up we need to hit this one i guess and then we can head over to this one and then we can just head on down this way quite an interesting gym if you showed me footage of this uh oh, uh oh i went the wrong fucking way if you showed me footage of this, I would never believe you that this is a Pokemon game. Okay, so we're gonna make it in there. What if it deducted points for every time you hit a wall? Well, that's gonna do it for that one. And we got another trainer. Sup? Our gym mission is like the, like a theme park attraction. What do you think? I think it's actually pretty cool. I want to do this shit in real life. What you got for me, Claire? You have a far-fetched. Okay, not a sir-fetched, just a regular far-fetched. Boy is still fighting type, so. Let's see if you have the stick item. If you can crit me. It's just gonna detect. Why? I never understood how detect worked. I mean, I get that you're like detecting my move, but how does that how does that protect you? It doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Sand attack, you asshole. Detect and sand attack? This is the most evil far fetch in all of the land. One more spark is going to do it. We do connect. Seemed like we had a little lag there. I thought we missed. But you dead, ducky. We have not roasted duck tonight, boys. Chiding grows to level 33. I have a surfetched. How about that? Also, I'm wondering, I don't know how many new fighting Pokemon there are in this game. For I only really know of surfetched. I'm sure there's more. I assume these things also just bring you up to the front. No, we do not want to return. If I accidentally hit yes, I would have been upset. All right. Okay, we're gonna do good on this one. Oh yeah, check that out. And then we're gonna go, I assume, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm stuck, I need an adult. I assume we need to go right, but hold up. Why is that not, that doesn't, put, that doesn't push me enough. I need to like start spinning from the start, I guess. Hello, maybe we go left. <laughs> Your boy is stuck. Okay, that's actually the way we needed to go, because now this opens up a whole new route. Look at that. And, whoa, we got a bunch of these things. This Oh, 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 Jesus. Knocked out. <laughs> you guys are lucky I got some fucking health insurance. All right. So, this is the last guy, it looks like, before the big old staircase. You're probably the last trainer. Our job is to defeat all the reckless gym challengers. Well then, let's see if you can do your job correctly, Simon putting you to the test here buddy Ooh, he's got a hitmonlee nice so good to know that hitmonlee is in this game that's pretty sweet uh unless you have earthquake or something we're probably okay here just to spark you a couple times oh yeah solid damage it's gonna revenge which actually should hurt a little bit but we resist it so it does less than half still kind of spooky though one more spark takes care of your chicken leg thing looks like a straight up drumstick the first time someone introduced me to that i cannot see hitmonlee as anything other than a drumstick barney wants to learn toxic not too bad not too bad not really what we needed but we'll get rid of flail for that always good to be able to get some status conditions 
So not too shabby. Got myself some toxic. Next is a Hitmonchan. So we'll actually switch on this thing. Let's go into let's go into Tootsie. We're hurting a little bit. You know, it probably has the elemental punches, so we could expect probably a nice punch or a thunder punch, but I think we'll be okay. Level 33, so damn, this gym battle actually might be a little bit difficult, not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and pluck you right in the face. Okay, that's fine. We eating that shit up. Nice, almost actually knocks it out in one hit. It would be fantastic if we could evolve before the gym. It's not gonna happen, I. but... I mean, at least learning a better flying move would definitely help us out. Down goes the Monchan. And uh, I think that's it for this guy. Nugget grows a level along with Dexter. Very nice. All right, Simon has been defeated. Thank you for reminding me what it was like to be a gym challenger. Back in the glory days, huh? He's like, now I just work here. It's depre- Hey! What do we have here? Nugget is evolving. The time has finally come. I honestly didn't expect this. But we got ourselves an absolute beast. Look at this thing. Sweet Jesus, a colossal. Which is actually a perfect name for this thing. I really like its design. It reminds me of Rhyperior a lot, but pretty awesome. Usually peaceful, but the vandalism of mines enrages it. Avengers will be incinerated with flames that reach 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. That's brutal. Jesus, just straight killing people. We're also about to learn tar shots. What is that? Custom move, I guess. Uh, so the user pours sticky tar over the target, lowering the target speed stat. The target becomes weaker to fire type moves. That's actually pretty interesting. You know, let's get rid of rapid spin. I'm probably not going to use rapid spin very much in a regular playthrough of this game, so it makes sense to at least try out tar shot. I probably won't use it too much, but it's still pretty sweet. Anyway. We need to do some healing. I think we... I'm just gonna give a super potion to you. And a super potion to you. We're probably gonna... We're gonna continue leading with Barney. Um, I think we'll have just an easier time saving up Tootsie till the end. I don't know... I don't know what to expect. Am I underleveled? Uh-oh. Gym mission cleared. Great success. Wearing my sunglasses inside because I'm fucking cool as hell. Alright. It's time to head into the stadium. The actual stadium, and that is... The crowd is absolutely massive. And let's get this money. And is this chick? So I remember her from the opening ceremonies. Like, honestly, before this, I forgot who it was going to be. But I remember you. Welcome, Jim Challenger. I'm Bea. What is happening? Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how, hard, how you are attacked? I think I'll test that out, shall I? Ooh, she going to test us out. All right, so hopefully... We can do this. I, I think we can. We're probably fine. She's got herself a nice little Ultra Ball. What do you got for me? So she's going to leave off with a Hitmon top. Which is cool. This boy's still dancing, doing the same animation with the, <laughs> doing the Carlton. Uh, activate the old bracelet. So, level 34 Hitmon top. This thing is kind of scary. You know what? I'm going to go for a Nuzzle. I feel like getting a Paralysis on you would be a little helpful. So let's, let's see how that goes. Do a little bit of damage. Get you paralyzed. And it's gonna use revenge. Ouch. So, does a little less than half. This is not very good for us. We gotta kinda hope for some, uh. Hope for some paralysis here. Let's just go for a spark. Hope it gets parried. We can take at least one more revenge. Knocks it down to about half. Oh, shit, it has counter. Well, we can certainly not live that. <laughs> and that is gonna kill us. So, that was, uh. That was not very good. Damn it, Barney. This thing had counter. Of course, we never get the paralysis. When I, when I nuzzle things or thunder wave, it never happens. Damn it. All right. So we probably need Tootsie to get a nice little kill here. We're kind of, so she has four Pokemon, which I believe is more than the previous people. Well, that's going to kill the Hitmon top. We did it. We did lose young Barney, but I think we'll be okay. Tootsie wants to learn the move Drill Pack. Yo! Perfect timing, buddy. Nice. Let's, uh, so Drill Pack at 80 gonna be much better than Pluck. We're just gonna get rid of Pluck, even though I never use anything other than Pluck. We're just gonna, we're just gonna switch that directly out. Perfect timing. Dumbo goes to 31. Next is a Pangoro. Ooh, okay. So let's conserve Tootsie a little bit here. Let's go into Chiding. 
Pangoro is weak to fighting himself, uh, which is interesting that you got yourself a Pang Pangoro. You're weak to your own typing lady. Bust out the longest leak in all the land. And level 34 Pangoro, so definitely a little bit scary. Brick Break should be a two-hit KO, I assume, and we could also take attacks on this thing, so... We could first impression, but we're just we're just gonna rock smash right from the start. Let's hope that we get some crits. Smash that boulder. Does about half. Not nearly enough. Now it's gonna circle throw. Uh-oh. That is not ideal, because that's gonna toss out something random, and it turns out to be Dumbo. You are not what we wanted to come out here, Dumbo. Oh, shoot. Well. Let's switch into Dexter. Odds are that they're going to circle throw again. Uh, if it does circle throw, we're going to have a bad time. Unless it just brings us into Farfetch'd turn. Or Tootsie. So let's see. Yep, just going to circle throw again. It's, it's a terrible idea switching. Wait, no. It didn't happen because I switched. Wait, hold up. Hold up. I mashed A way too quickly. Well, now we can get a free water pledge off. And, uh... We're just gonna Night Slash. That doesn't quite knock it out, but we can take a Night Slash. It does above half, so definitely an interesting... Interesting gym battle. Still got two Pokemon to go after the Pangora's dead. So let's hope that whatever she decides to Dynamax is, uh... Not that scary. Let's see what's next. And a Surfetch. Okay, well, we should... Should have seen that coming. It's like the only option for flying types, I feel like. Or fighting types, I mean. So, we will probably just go into Tootsie for that thing. A couple drill packs. Now that we can take advantage of some drill pack shenanigans, we should be, should be set up pretty well. What level is it, though? Level 35. Oh, Jesus. I'm a little bit spooked, but... We should be fine here, as long as we have a decent amount of health for whatever she brings in next. We're not going to Dynamax just yet. We'll probably save it. We could do it next turn. Can I detect? Really? I can't believe you've done this. Also, fun fact, if you use an attack after Dynamaxing and the opponent uses Detect or Protect, you actually still get a certain, a little bit of damage on it. It, it breaks through just a little bit, which is kind of cool. Now we have to take a Brutal Swing. All right, which freaking hurts, but we should be good. We are going to finish you with the drill pack. Unfortunately, we don't end the matchup with as much health as I would like. But it is time to see what she's got for her ace. Jading is going to grow to level 34. And last but not least is Machamp. Oh, yeah, that is that is exactly what I remember. I saw some leaks where this thing actually has its own... Gigantamax form, and I'm a little bit scared. Level 36 Machamp. Oh, sweet Jesus. This might be bad. Uh-oh. Well, we're going to Dynamax, and we'll have to just go for a Max Airstream, and I guess just see what happens here. If it has anything that can Oko us, I think we'll still be faster, maybe. I'm really hoping so. Go ahead and turn my Pokeball huge. And uh, we are now a massive bird. So she is also gonna do the same. So now we gotta see what's going on with that. Hiya! Destroy everything. Your skill is worthy of respect. Let's see what you got. I really do like all these animations. This is super cool. Yo! That boy is scary as hell. He's got He's got yellow veins. Absolute unit. Look at his eyes, too. Just fucking scary. I don't like it. So we do go first. We get off a max airstream. And that does well over half. So if we can get off another one of those, we're in good shape. But what if this thing can kill me? It's going to max darkness. That was a scary looking champ. Ooh, we do live it with 24 HP. Not even bad gonna drop my special defense but we should still be faster and less priority oh no hey we gonna we get it off so one more max dare stream he's gonna take care of the machamp and honestly not that bad of a gym battle so that could have that could have gone a lot worse Tetsy grows to 35 Dumbo to 32 and now we can return back to normal bird sized size I really wish we would evolve. Are we going to evolve now? That would be fantastic. Last time we did a gym battle, we had some cool stuff happen. Well, at least with Surfetch. 
I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them into battle. Get $11,520. It doesn't look like we evolved, damn it. Well, thank you for the battle. Phew. Facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. Good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. All right. So we got ourselves the fighting badge. That is badge number four. And we are halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Fit that in the old the old ring thing. And uh, you can now catch Pokemon up to level 40. Hopefully you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. Hope that every one of these encounters will nourish your spirit. That was insightful. Well, congratulations. Please take this TM to remember your victory by. We got TM42 for Revenge, which is a decent fighting move, but... Surf Edge does not need that. Also got the fighting uniform. It'd be cool if it was just like a karate outfit. Give me a black belt. So we're gonna head on out. And something's happening. Hey. It's the Yamper. What's up, little buddy? Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know, the mural here in Stow on side. Decided to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though that's what's the, though what's there today is actually a replica of ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Kaboom! Oh, uh oh. We never like to hear a kaboom. What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins too. Oh, looks like Detective Hayden's gonna have to freaking investigate. No, oh, she's going. So, does it heal my Pokemon after? It sure does. Look at that. What a time to be alive. All right. So it looks like we're supposed to just head up this way. Can we go ahead and follow homegirl. Riding our bicycle upstairs because we don't give a heck. Also, there's a max revive right here, which is cool. What's up? What's going on up there? Just, just going to leave it to me, huh? Right, that's fine. Ooh. Hey, look at this evolved form of Qfant, I think. It's got to be. Destroy it. Destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. Yo, bead. Suck my balls. Get out of here. Grandma looking ass. Got to bring the chairman one more. Or we got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Yo. That thing looks awesome though. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing stars. Well, are you gonna... Just gonna just demolish the damn painting? I mean, it's a terrible painting, don't get me wrong, but bruh. Oh my, you again. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, isn't it? Is it? I see. So you have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Damn, so now we got a, like an intense rival battle right after the gym battle. So we're about to see what beads got for us. Four Pokemon. We got a Duosion. So uh, it has evolved, which is cool. Uh, not the best matchup for us at all because we're freaking poisoned. So... We could go into Dumbo. I think we're gonna go into Dumbo. This thing needs some experience. We uh, we should have a decent, decently easy time. Duosion's not that scary until he's got a Reuniclus. We're not afraid. Just gonna Psy Shock. And all right, you know that actually that actually hurts more than I expected. Jesus. Well, let's go for a Bulldozer. I guess at least see how much it's gonna do. We are faster, so doesn't quite do half. Already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. What do you mean? You saw me use one move. Hello? Now you're gonna reflect? Hopefully you don't have the light clay item because we do not want that sticking around. Just gonna continue to bulldoze. We probably should have switched into a special attacker. Bulldoze is not gonna do too much. Now it's gonna light screen. Setting up the dual screens. I see you, Bead. Catch me on Pokemon Showdown, though. Just gonna proceed to stomp on the ground here. Maybe if he has the evolved form of Qfant, we might we might evolve soon, which could be cool. Okay, uh, so we can expect another one of them Psy Beams or Psy Shock. Let's actually just go into Dexter. Yeah, we should be able to finish this thing. We just want to switch out Qfant because I want that thing to get experience mostly. More heckin' Psy Beams. Ooh! The damage, and it confused me. Uh-oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? In that case, 
We're freaking switching again, buddy. Let's see how you like my squi my switching skills. My switching skills. This thing just does a lot of damage. My god, your duosion is OP. It's gonna side shock. Does the reflect wear off? I think there's still another turn. My god, still over half. So the reflect does wear off. It's actually probably a good thing that we switched. Because now Drill Pick will be able to kill it. So that's a dead little fetus thing. Duosion's a weird Pokemon, man. This whole evolution line is just weird. Dexter goes to 35 rather than dying after we hit ourselves in confusion. Next is a Gotharita. So, for Gotharita, uh, let's actually go into Nugget. Our fully evolved absolute beast. This thing finally gets to see the light of day as an evolved mod. Fully evolved. He's got a big old pile of coal. All right. Level 32 Gotharita. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and give you a flame charge. I kind of want to use Tar Shot just to see what it looks like, but it's not worth it. So we're super defensive. We, we take that. Flame Charge gets a little bit of damage off. Uh, we have a speed boost. Are we faster now? We sure are. Let's see if we can... Oh, I was going to say, let's see if we can hit five times with the Rock Blast. But Homeboy couldn't even hit once. What the hell? You know, fake tears. going to drop my special defense harshly, which is unfortunate. Do connect on this Rock Blast. We need to hit a good amount of times here, buddy. Damn it. Two? The lowest possible amount of times. Really? More fake tears. You dick. Luckily, we're still faster as long as we hit more than, yep, at least twice. That's all we gotta do. Definitely can't only hit once. So, down goes that thing. We do need to switch out because my special defense is about non existent at the moment. So, we do go to level 35, though. Next is Ponyta. And as much as I really wanna stay in on Ponyta, we could definitely switch. Let's actually. Let's let Dexter do it. We're low health. Oh, wait, fuck, no, it's Galarian Ponyta. Oh, I'm stupid. I, for a second there, I forgot that Galarian Ponyta existed. And this thing is Psychic type. Obviously, why would he just have a regular Ponyta? God, sometimes when I record these late at night, you boy, you boy's tired and dumb. Well, we're just going to. <laughs> sucker Punch is super effective. Let's see if we can get a Sucker Punch. I'm sure it's just going to attack. Just kidding. It's going to agility. Well, now you're faster, so now you've got to attack. So guess what we're going to do? About to sucker punch you right in your cotton candy face, you brony. Did we do land it this time? It's going to do well over half. Don't think we can live in a, a side beam, though. Your pony toss too up, Pete. No, we can. Just kidding. <coughs> that didn't do very much at all. Now we can sucker punch again, unless you predict that. And you sure don't. Perfect. Down goes the pony toss. That's actually like the first time I've even used sucker punch since we learned it, but... We take an advantage now. Anyway, last but not least is a hat trim, which has got to be ye old elephant, right? Um, kind of thinking we're just going to nugget. Is that the evolved elephant? Oh wait, no, that's the wait. What what was that elephant? But the hat trim's the freaking the psychic, the psychic hat thing. But it's the evolved version. <laughs> I don't think we've actually seen hat trim yet, but we've seen the pre-evolution. Yeah, this isn't totally new. Level 35 Hatrim, we have not seen you. I, God. I gotta freaking pull it together. This guy's team has been the same since we've met him. Just evolved now, so side beam. Going to do a decent amount. We can definitely take another one. That was a crit, too. Your weak Hatrim. Actually, kind of a cool design. I, I like it. Alright, so we do well over half. Hit three times. Can never hit five times anymore, man. What the hell? You know, I think I actually do have the item that uh, allows us to always hit the max with Rock Blast. I should put that on this damn thing. We for sure got that one a couple episodes ago. I forgot about that. Anyway, down goes the Hatchrim. And we've done it. Beat has been defeated. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. No, no do-overs. You just suck. Hey! And we've finally done it. Our starter shall be fully evolved. And now we are skinny. <laughs> we are very long. I'm not sure how I feel about this thing's design, to be honest. This is Inteleon. Has many hidden capabilities, such as fingertips that can shoot water and a membrane on its back that, can, that it can use to glide through the air. 
So definitely an interesting design. Not gonna say it's really my favorite. Try and learn snipe shot. What is that? So a new water move, 80 power, ignores the effect of the opposing uh, Pokemon's move and abilities that draw in moves, allowing this move to hit the chosen target. Chosen target. That's actually pretty good. We'll get rid of uh, probably just Water Pulse because Water Pledge is better. And now we just have just upgrading our water options. So that's interesting. I suppose if you were playing in a game where there was a, a double battle and there was like a Gastrodon with uh, its ability that takes in water moves, you wouldn't hit it. So that's kind of cool. Storm Drain. How can this be? How could someone like you get in my way? I was chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to defeat the champion. I'm the one, one of the elite, someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. No, oh, the gang is all here now. Hot damn. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. That's the, that's the freaking elephant. Can't believe you try to use the chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Yeah, you dickhead. You about to get banished now. You stand in the path of a Pokemon symbol beam or something? How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Yo, that was a burn. Hold up. You just said, did you stand in the way of a Pokemon symbol beam? <laughs> okay, bead. That's actually pretty funny. Pains me to have to say this, but I'm truly disappointed. It's true that I'm the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you a trainer to a trainer's school to give you the chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural, part of Galar's history, you show no love toward Galar. You're clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. You've been banished, bruh. Decide what to do with you later. For now, you'll return to Hammerlock. That is right. You suck, Bead. His eyes are all big now. Must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge, but you're the one who endorsed me. Hundreds of different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger Bead, I will take in those wishing stars you have gathered. Yeah, I would love to see some justice. Justice has been served. Ah, Sonia and Hayden too. Terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. Never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Ah, uh, yet we do what we must to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. We sure do, Chairman. We sure do, buddy. You know, during the during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently, it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. Cool, cool. What an awful turn of events. Hope the mural survived all that. It looks, looks like it's okay. Unfortunately, it, it's still in one piece. Oh, never mind. Now it's about to fucking... What in the hell is that? It's the legendary doggo. Although... Ooh, she's putting two and two together here. They're like statues, though. How did they How did they do that? I'm confusion. Ooh, well. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Pokemon? Hello? Right, more than any hero, those whose things appear that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but these Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and a shield as if they were using them. Oh, really? Anything else look interesting to you? The hero was actually two people? Same as the tapestries? We're going to say the hero was actually two people. Good observation. They're really two. They really were two heroes, but that, that's the case. Then why only the one statue at the Buddy drop in? Because they're, not all the statues are freaking right. More than any statue of a hero and or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means, the sword is a Pokemon or the shield is a Pokemon. Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history. Two young heroes, the sword and shield, were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these, these ruins be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? Some cool little lore going on. With your help, I really feel like we made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these. You'll be keeping you in your best in the gym challenge. Guess we'll be headed to Balanlia. Balanlia. Balanlia? Switch into Balan real quick. Hold up. We get two revives. Thank you. Or was that two? I don't know. I was focused on Balan. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We are about to end the episode here. And uh, we're going to check out the next city next time. So, if you enjoyed... The video make sure to hit that like button and i will see you guys next time peace out